Hello everybody, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. Today I'll be presenting the most recent Superman custom ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S7. This is the version 2.5.0 based on the most recent stock firmware from Samsung. Before going through the specifics, I'd like to talk about the reasons why you should install this ROM or not. So probably if you like the stock Samsung look with the new TouchWiz and if you like to have some mods as well Superman is the ROM for you This latest version as I said before it's based on the most recent Samsung release It has the April security patch I've installed it with the Superstock kernel but there are a lot of options to choose from. I'll take you through the whole installation process as well. So I believe we should do that first and afterwards we can take another look at the ROM itself. So reboot into recovery. So here it is, the latest Timwin recovery. You have to download the zip file with the ROM and place it on the internal memory or on a micro SD card. Afterwards, you can just simply install it. Browse in this file manager until you reach the required file. And afterwards, swipe to confirm flash. Now, an Aroma installer will pop up. I won't go through the entire process but I'll show you all the options that you can choose from so here we have the latest version updated on the 27th of April next you should read all this or just skip through it click next you can find out some information about your system here you can see the entire change log or you can quit the installation process so let's go forward now start fresh you have three options here if you come from stock ROM you should full wipe if you come from a previous Superman ROM, I believe you should do a full wipe as well because this build has changed a lot of stuff. On your own risk, you can choose the dirty flash right here. You can choose your CSC here. You have quite a lot of options, so you can either install all of them, none of them or choose your own kernel selection you have the stock kernel which is basically the kernel used by the Samsung ROMs as well the super kernel which has a lot of tweaks and the super stock kernel which is kind of a mix between these two so you're not able to modify it that much if you install the super kernel you should also get Synapse, an app which can help you do a lot of mods, overclocking, underclocking, under voltage and so forth. I already have the latest recovery so I don't need to update it. And now there are a lot of tweaks that you can choose from. I'll scroll through them so you can take a good look. When I installed it, I enabled all of them because I believe they really make a difference. Root method, I suggest you install SuperSU. I find it more stable than the other versions. Or you can install no root if you want. Busy box or no busy box. 
And now some sound mods. I usually leave it without any sound mods, but you can choose your own here. Out of these three, I usually choose the modded camera because you have a 100 quality for the pictures and you have an increased bitrate for all videos filmed with the device. Or you can choose the ported S8 camera. Sound mod if you want some custom sounds, emojis or iOS 10.2 emojis. Here I usually choose the modded system UI. If you want a stock look and feel, you can choose the stock system UI and the stock settings. Stock launcher or modded launcher. And here at the last step you can update the modem and the bootloader directly from here without needing to go through Odin once again. Previously I did not update my modem and my bootloader, so I updated them directly from here. If you want to, you can update the modem and the bootloader via Odin beforehand and afterwards you can just click the second option for both of these and then go through the installation process. I chose to update them from here because it's, it's a bit easier. And afterwards the installation process will begin. I won't go through with it. I'm gonna try to restart the device right now. I was not requested the pin code after the restart. Usually you do, but the modern system UI makes such small tweaks that make the device more usable and more user-friendly overall. So basically, we have a stock-like experience, but with less bloatware. In the Aroma installer, you can choose whatever apps you like, so you can customize the device to suit your needs. I have chosen none of the Samsung apps almost. I only have the gallery, video, and, I believe that's, and the calculator plus the calendar. That's about it. I haven't chosen any of the other Samsung frameworks or apps. You can also install directly from the Aroma some Google apps such as Google Maps, Gmail, YouTube, Chrome and so forth. Or, of course, if you want, you can choose not to install any of these. The ROM looks and feels like a stock one, but with some additions. For example, here, you just drop the notification bar and you find out some information about the device, such as the battery level, network, Wi-Fi, and so forth. It looks kind of similar because it actually is. What's different, for example, is this edge panel. Theoretically this is only for the S7 Edge variant, but with this ROM you get it for the normal flat S7 as well. The edge feeds, I don't think they work properly, not really sure. Edge lighting, probably the same, even if they do being a flat device, when you put it on the desk like this, you won't see any light leaking through the sides, so it's kind of useless. Some other tweaks are found in the Superman settings app, but from here you can also make a donation to the developer of this fantastic ROM, or access the latest download links. I'd like to thank the developers of this ROM for doing a fantastic job. I really think they hit the jackpot with this one. I used the Superman ROM on my S6 as well in the past and it was really good at that time too. So what can you change from here? The auto call record is already implemented so if you get a call or if you call somebody it can record calls directly. Here you can alter 
battery setting so you can have a battery bar you can customize it in whatever ways you want clock identical Wi-Fi or signal icon lock screen mods weather settings on lock screen volume button settings so you can skip songs without any other apps just by long pressing the volume up or volume down buttons you can make some behaviors for the back and the recent apps buttons you can enable virtual buttons and so much more here you have some preferences as well to alter the reboot menu to add toggles to it or to remove some others notification panel as well settings colors custom carrier label and so much more launcher settings so you can change the effect of the touch with launcher themes and of course a changelog of the latest ROM version I've also installed and Tudu and Geekbench so you can have a look at the scores that it gets I don't think they are that important in real life but I'm giving you the scores here so you can judge them for yourself or you can compare them with your own devices so we got a result of around 130,000 which is right around here so it's quite similar to the reference S7 Edge here and a bit under the regular S7 but I believe these results can vary from one run to another so it's not that much of a difference and Geekbench here we have the CPU scores and if we go into the comparisons you can see that it got quite a lot more compared to the stock Galaxy S7 it's an improvement of about 200 points in the multi-core test an improvement of almost 500 points so that's quite a lot in the compute got a score of almost 5000 which is a lot more compared to the stock S7 ROM the ROM is completely stable very easy to install and from my point of view much more enjoyable than the stock Samsung ROM that was offered to us you can have a lot of customizations to suit whatever needs you may have also it's very easy to install you just need to download the ROM all the links will be found in the description below so as I said download the ROM make sure you have root access and the latest custom recovery and afterwards just go through the process via the method that I've shown you before not forgetting to install the latest modem and bootloader directly from Aroma if you haven't done this before via Odin so this was the video for today thank you very much for watching if you liked the video please do not forget to press the like button and the subscribe button as well I'm sending my thanks to the developers of this ROM as well I wish you a great day this was Mike the Tech Savvy until next time bye